Hey everyone, welcome back. It's a plan with me, but it's a little different this week because I have moved into a Midori's Traveler's Notebook, and this is an insert from Yellow Paper House. They just come um, with plain brown paper like this, and I decorated, I decorated it and added, sorry, and added a weekly tab as you can see. So this is my very first week officially in here. Now last week I did plan in both my Erin Condren and an insert that I made, but I just received this in the mail this past weekend. So um, I'm going to officially move into here. So I like a week on two pages. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the page and start here. Now this is my little pig that will help me keep this book flat for right now. Um, it doesn't lay flat because of the way that I covered it so um, I'll have to like lay a book on top of it open for a few days or something to help it straighten itself out so this is kind of this is kind of nice because you can make your own planner using any kind of book notebook or anything um, so this is kind of DIY because it isn't set up for you you're gonna be setting it up yourself so I have um, some extra stickers in here. This is this goes around my notebook or around my insert in my traveler's notebook with some extra um, pens and stickers. So I might be digging in here a few times. Now I am setting this up from Monday to Sunday. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be counting the lines. So let me go ahead and count the lines so I can see how many. Um, days I can get on a page. Okay, there are 38 um, squares. So this side is going to have Monday through Wednesday, and this side is going to have Thursday through Sunday. So we're going to do 38 divided by 3 and 38 divided by 4. Pull out my handy dandy calculator. Okay, so each box can have, or each side, or this side can have 12. It's a little bit more than 12, but one day we'll just have a few extra um, lines on it. And then the other side is, um, let's see, the other side will have 9 per day. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out washi tape. I don't know which washi tape I want to use this week. I'm thinking I want to go with a thin washi. So I think we're going to, a thinner washi. We're going to go with this one. Let me see. I'm going to either do this one or this one. Or maybe I'll mix and match the two. Um, I did think, I do think I want to pair with these washi strips. So maybe I'll, I'm going to do the pink I think. And I think I'm going to do the blue. Okay. So because each day gets 12 on this side, um, and this washi takes up about two boxes, um, it's not going to be completely correct, but that's okay, not a big deal. Okay, and this side gets nine. I decided to switch because I kind of like everything in one spot and I just can't get that with the Erin Condren. So, and I really liked how you can customize and personalize this to any way you want. If you don't like making your own inserts like this, there are tons of Etsy shops that sell inserts that are like already made like the monthly ones and the weekly ones for you so you don't have to do it yourself. But to be honest, as of right now, I don't really mind it. And I am going to be stamping in here, but obviously you guys don't have to. You can just use stickers if you'd like, or you can just write it out. It doesn't have to be pretty. You don't even have to use washi if you don't want. But I feel like I love using planners, and I really need one in my life. But I feel like um, if it isn't, like, if I don't like it and it doesn't look pretty, I won't use it. So...
So right now I will have everything in one spot except for my fitness planner, which is an Inkwell Press fitness planner, and my Inkwell Press um, notebook, which is for my school, which I just started classes today. So kind of nervous, but I got to start sometime, I guess, right? Okay, so I have these washi strips. I cannot remember where I got these, but they are just um, pieces, pieces of washi that have been cut down to a um, one and a half length wide, and you can make them yourself just on wax paper and cutting them to the size that you want. I actually have a video about it. I use lamination, I like laminated, laminating um, paper, not paper but you know pouches and then I ran it across but I do suggest using wax paper instead because they peel off much nicer but I'll go ahead and link that um, video below if you want to know how to make these so um, I think I'm gonna use I'm gonna use what's left on here and those ones and I these is this is what I'm gonna write the day on and I'm just gonna go ahead and put these up in the top left hand corner of each day. Okay, now I did not put these on in any particular order, I just like the way that um, it, this will turn out because it will be very pink and blue and I really like those colors. So, okay, now I'm going to go through and write the day on each piece of washi tape with a sharpie marker and I'm going to use the ultra fine side. Okay, so now that my days are written, written in, if you have stamps and you want to stamp your days in, that would be cool. I don't have stamps with the day on them yet, so obviously I can't do that, um, but I probably will be buying some with the days, so that will go a little bit quicker, maybe, I don't really know. We will find out. So, I have these stamps from L2E, um, Studio L2E, oh my gosh, I can't talk, Studio L2E. And um, I'm probably going to be using a few of these because they're really, really cute and I want to. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out the two packs I'm going to be using. Now, this pack comes with these check boxes. Here, that's easier to see. These check boxes, but they don't line up with the boxes correctly. But it also came with a single one. So I'm going to go ahead and use the single one and stamp out... Um, some check boxes so I can write some things in. If you're interested in stamping, um, first of all, I suggest this is the Memento Dew Drops, but the chalk ink it does a lot better on all kinds of paper. So probably will be buying one of those. I didn't think I was going to at first, but I found I got an email for 50% off at Joanne Fabrics. So I think I'm going to go ahead and make a trip down down the road this evening and get some of the chalk ink but until then I'm just going to be stamping some boxes down the side probably about four on each day I can always add more later if I want I don't have a very steady hand as you can see so maybe stamping isn't a very good idea Okay, so that is the stamp that I'm using for that. Now, because I just started classes, I really need to... Oh, no, I lost it. <laughs> See, you have to really make sure you get them stuck back in there correctly. Now, because I just started classes, I am going to be really busy, so I think I'm going to start filming any videos that I have to film on Monday and Saturday. And, um... 
during nap time the other three days I need to really focus on um, getting this class done because I have until November to finish it which seems like a long time but you know how that goes sometimes you just can't keep up so um, I have I already have a workout planner so I will not be using the workout one but today specifically I have I will be filming I will be doing the kitchen and laundry I've got like three loads of laundry on my bed right now um, so those three things are definitely happening and the way that I'm gonna line these up is because I'm stamping them all in this day I'm gonna lay my acrylic block down and I'm going to go ahead and line these up so that when I turn it around and stamp it, stamp it, they will be lined up with the boxes perfectly. You're probably not going to see what this is because I'm going to put my head in front of the camera so I can make sure that they're center. Okay, so I have them in here, and they look like this. I'm going to go ahead and stamp them, stamp or ink them so that I can stamp them. So I have laundry, kitchen, and film. I really need to get one for um school. Now for filming, I have this one that's a little video camera. It's really cute. I think I'm going to go ahead and just put it next to the film. Okay. Now, I have a list of things over here. I just kind of keep a little notepad for the following week of things that are going on. And I'm going to go ahead and write them in, in my black pen, if I can find it. I have stuff literally all over my desk right now. Okay. So, I'm going to kind of be jumping around just going down my list. Saturday, I have an eye doctor's appointment at 10.30. Monday is weigh-in day. Um, I need to write my workout plans because we do different things on different day, my friend and I. Like two days a week we'll go to her house, two days a week we'll go to my house, or we'll be at my house, and one day a week we'll work out separately. So I need to figure out what is going on with that. Now my husband has um, CQ, which is like he stays 24 hours at work, and um, and that is on Friday. Now I'm not going to write that as a to-do, but I am going to lay... Um, a little bit of washi tape down and right over top of it and I think I will at this time use this oh, my camera randomly my camera randomly shut off so Sunday I set my weight loss goals for the following week and Sunday I also enter I want to enter my lesson one questions. So basically I have to enter my my answers for um, lesson one of my school. So between Thursday or Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday I will be editing. I'm going to try to film everything I want to film for the week on Monday during nap time and then edit throughout the days and kind of flip and flop between which days I edit and which days I work on school stuff. So because I am at home take, um, taking the classes online so it will be that easy now they have this little hanger for laundry that's cute now I am going to go ahead and stamp the days that I take out the trash we live in an apartment complex so we don't take out the trash once a week like you would if you live at home or if you live in a home um, you know, like trash comes on Thursday or whatever. We can just drop ours off whenever. We just have to take it to the, like, up front. But I'm going to go ahead and stamp in the left-hand corner which days the trash goes out. If you can tell, it's kind of, it bleeds a little bit. So the trash goes out. We take the trash out on Mondays and Thursdays. Or that's when it's going to go out this week. 
and we also have a bunny so we have to clean her cage we did it yesterday we got her a bigger cage and it only needs cleaned once every three days so we did it yesterday so it will be done again on Thursday or on Tuesday and on Saturday Now, I do want to make sure that my house is cleaned up on Friday um, because we're having, we usually have company over at some point on the weekends. So, I'm going to be using um, just this pickup sticker. I'm sure that they mean like pick up your prescription or something, but I'm just going to be using it as pick up my house, and that will be on Friday. Okay, I know that we want to do the cardio. There's a cardio blast workout um, that we're going to be going to. And that is, so cardio blast. And that is at 9 o'clock. So I don't want to forget about it. And I think that's about all that is going on this week. Now, if you have a lot of to-dos, you could easily put a piece of washi tape down the center and write your to-dos on one side, your appointments, anything else on the other. You could put a piece of washi down and do like quotes or your high and low for the day or just that kind of stuff. So I really like that you can kind of do whatever with this. I just enjoy that. So I think that is all for today and that was all that needs to happen for the week. So, I think that's pretty much it. If you liked these stamp sets, you can find the same ones at um, L or Studio L2E. If you just type that into Google, you can find the website. I believe it is StudioL2E.com, but I'm not sure 100%. So, if you guys want to check these out, the prices run differently. I will link the video to my unboxing for this um for these three st stamp sets below if you guys are interested in seeing the price and what all comes in each stamp set I will be listing that below for you so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to y'all later bye